Mehul is very fond of swimming, that's why he goes swimming in the swimming pool on Sundays. While Mehul was swimming in the pool, his mobile phone rang. When Mehul picks up the call, he learns that a man has suddenly died in a hotel. Mehul immediately puts on his clothes and takes his car to reach the hotel. Manager, where is the dead body? Take me to the dead body. The manager takes Mehul to room number 7 on the third floor where the dead body was lying. Sir, this man's name was Vikas, and he has been staying in our hotel for the past two days. Interesting, very very interesting, if he has been staying in the hotel for the past two days, it must mean he came here for some important work. After that, Mehul puts on his gloves and searches the room. Mehul doesn't find anything in the room. Mehul also checks the bathroom thoroughly. Then Mehul's eyes fall on the table. On the table, there was a bottle of water, a glass, and a teacup placed. There must be something fishy about this tea. I need to investigate it. Can you tell why Mehul thought there might be something fishy about the tea? Let me know your answer by commenting. Look closely at the water bottle. The water bottle is slightly empty, and approximately the same amount of water is also in the glass. He poured water from the bottle into the glass but didn't drink it. But look at the teacup, there is only a little tea left. This means Vikas must have drunk the tea. This is where Mehul doubts Vikas. Mehul takes fingerprints from the cup and sends them to forensic lab to Dr. Sanjana for analysis. On the third floor, next to room number 7, there were four rooms. After inspecting all four rooms, Mehul gets a doubt about one room. Can you tell which room Mehul might have doubted among the four? Think about it and let me know your answer by commenting. The first and second rooms have locks on their doors, and the third room is locked from the inside. There are shoes and slippers of two to three people placed outside the room. But look at the fourth room, its door is open. No hotel leaves a room open like this. If someone is inside, they would close the door from inside, and if someone is leaving, they would also close the door from outside. Manager, who is in this room, and where is he now? Sir, there was a man named Raghav in this room, who has also been staying here for the past two days. But I don't know where he went just now. Interesting, very very interesting. Vikas has also been staying in the room for two days. There must be some connection. Mehul immediately asks the manager for Raghav's ID proof. The manager shows Mehul a photocopy of Raghav's Aadhaar card. This Aadhaar card is fake. Raghav has made a fool out of you. How did Mehuls know that Raghav's Aadhaar card is fake? Think about it, and let me know your answer by commenting. Carefully look at the Aadhaar card. Raghav's date of birth is mentioned as February 29, 1999. February 29 only occurs in leap years, which are multiples of four, such as in 2024. This means Raghav is the one who murdered Vikas. We need to immediately investigate his room. Mehul and the manager quickly go to Raghav's room and search it, but they don't find any evidence there. The room looks perfectly clean. The bed is perfectly made. This means Raghav isn't using the room. He was just waiting for the opportunity to kill Vikas. I have sent samples to Dr. Sanjana. We will understand everything in a while. Dr. Sanjana was conducting research, while Alia and Zoya were sitting there playing games. Alia, it's clear that the death occurred due to poison, and the same poison is also present in the tea, but the poison isn't in Vikas's stomach, so how did it get inside? Dr. Ma'am, Dr. Ma'am, please check the fingerprints on the cup. Are there Vika's uncle's fingerprints on it too? Doctor, Zoya plays the detective IQ game, that's why she has such strong detective skills. Dr. Sanjana checks the fingerprints on the cup and informs Mehul that there is only one person's fingerprints on the cup. Impossible! Oh gosh, how can this happen? Something, something is seems to be fishy. Can you tell why Alia thought there might be something fishy? Let me know your answer by commenting. It's quite simple, when the waiter brought the teacup, he must have touched it for sure. Or someone in the hotel kitchen must have touched the cup before it was served. And then, when Vikas drank the tea, he must have also held the cup with his hands. 
Dr. Sunjana immediately tries to match Vikas's fingerprints with the fingerprints found on the teacup. But the fingerprints do not match. Dr. Sunjana calls Mehul and tells him the entire story. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Here the entire game is twisted. This means Vikas did not drink the tea at all so did poison enter his body? Is it possible that it could have been caused by eating food? Wow Zoya, very good point. You are becoming very smart with the detective IQ game. But when I entered Vikas's room, there was no sign of food in his room. This means surely someone from the hotel is coordinating with him. I'll go ask the waiter a few questions. At the time of Vikas's death, there were three waiters on duty. Mayhul interrogates all three of them. First waiter says, Sir, I did go to deliver food to the room. But I don't know what happened after that. Second waiter says, Sir, I went to pick up the empty plates from the room and then returned with all the dishes, but I don't know what happened after that. Third waiter says, Sir, I was serving food on the lower floor at that time. I didn't even go upstairs, so how would I know? Mayhul immediately understands which one of them is lying. Can you tell which one of the three waiters is lying? The second waiter is lying because when he went to pick up the food plates from Vikas's room, then why did he leave behind the teacup? He should have brought the teacup with him too, which means he is definitely hiding something. Mayhul catches him and interrogates him. So, the waiter reveals that the man named Raghav in the adjacent room had given him 10,000 Indian rupees and instructed him to mix poison in the food. Just for 10,000 rupees you mixed poison in Vikas's food, and now he is dead. Now when you go to jail you'll understand the value of life. Sir. Please forgive me sir, if you forgive me then I'll give you on proof about Raghav. If you help me catch Raghav, then I'll reduce your punishment. After this the waiter tells Mayhul that Raghav had a lot of local trains tickets and he threw them in the dustbin, and all those tickets are with the waiter. Waiter gives all the tickets to Mayhul. Very very interesting. This means Raghav comes from JP Nagar to Gautam Nagar every day. Now I can easily catch him. But after looking at all the tickets, Mayhul has a doubt in his mind. Can you tell what doubt might be arising in Mayhul's mind after looking at all the tickets? All these tickets are from JP Nagar to Gautam Nagar but neither one of them is a return ticket, how is this possible? Everyday Raghav comes from JP Nagar to Gautam Nagar and all these tickets are quite old. It means he stays in JP Nagar in Mumbai. But the question is how does he return? And the biggest question is whose fingerprints are on the teacup. Mayhul needs to find answers to these two questions, but how will Mayhul find out? Mayhul sends Adi a picture of Raghav and instructs Adi to check the footage from JP Nagar station. Adi hacks into the CCTV there and starts monitoring them. As Adi carefully watches the footage near the station, he begins to have doubts about a particular man. Can you tell from watching the CCTV footage who Adi is suspicious of? Look at this, it's Raghav, he has changed his clothes and is wearing a cap to avoid being recognized. Adi calls Mayhul and sends him the complete information. Mayhul immediately reaches JP Nagar station and catches him. Raghav, it is impossible to escape from Detective Mayhul. Now tell me, why did you kill Vikas? And did you have tea with Vikas? He owed me 1 crore rupees and was not paying me back. So, I bribed the waiter to mix poison in his food. There are no fingerprints of mine on the teacup. What? Very, very interesting. Was there anyone else who had enmity with Vikas? I don't know, but I was in the room next to his. And I could hear a lot of arguments between him and the manager. A fight with the manager. Mayhul immediately arrives at the hotel and checks the hotel records, realizing that Vikas hadn't paid the hotel bill for two months. It means the manager lied to me. But the manager turned out to be a sloppy player, leaving his fingerprints on the cup. Mayhul also arrests the manager. Case solved. Detective Mayhul rocks. Alex is a well-known bodybuilder in the city. He has won numerous awards in the world of bodybuilding. One day, Alex was sleeping in his house early in the morning when suddenly the doorbell rings. I don't know who has come so early in the morning, ruining my sleep. Alex immediately gets up and opens the door, finding an unknown man standing there. Yes, brother. Tell me, whom do you want to meet? But the man doesn't say anything and suddenly kicks Alex hard, yeah. causing him to fall down. Yeah. The man then closes the door from the inside and takes out his revolver. Alex becomes very scared upon seeing this. Hey, who are you? And why do you want to kill me? What have I done to you? However, the man doesn't listen to Alex at all and starts firing at him. 
The first bullet grazes Alex's shoulder, causing a minor injury, now, Alex had three options to save himself, the first was a chair, the second a table, and the third a sofa, what could Alex immediately do to save himself from the gunfire? Carefully observe, there are legs attached under the table, meaning the table can be moved with the help of those legs. Alex delivers a powerful kick to the table, and it swiftly hits the man who is firing. As soon as the table strikes him hard, the man falls down, taking advantage of the situation, Alex immediately hides inside the bathroom and locks the door from the inside. The man starts firing at the closed door. I have to find a way to escape from here because that man has a gun in his hand, otherwise, today he would have made me his target. The man starts forcefully pushing the door. What can Alex do to escape the bathroom, since the bathroom window is high up? Alex can use the bucket placed inside the bathroom. He notices that there is a mesh above the toilet seat. Since the window is high up, he places the bucket on the toilet seat and climbs onto it. Alex then breaks the mesh and manages to escape through the window. He quickly reaches Detective Mayhul's house. At that moment, Mayhul was exercising on his rooftop early in the morning. Alex calls out to Mayhul, but Mayhul had headphones on, so he couldn't hear anything. Alex knocks on Mayhul's door, but it is secured with a logical password. Mayhul sir has placed a logical password on his door, and I'm not good at math, what should I do? Can you tell what could be the code to open the door? Think and let me know the answer by commenting. There is absolutely no need to apply any brain power here, the first number is the answer, so if the first number is 2, then the answer is 2. In the second case, it's 6, so the answer is 6, and in the third case, it's 8, so the answer is 8, and in the last one, there's 3, which means the answer is 3. Now, Alex, in a state of panic, presses the number 3 button, and coincidentally, the door opens. As soon as Alex enters, an alarm starts ringing from Mayhul's watch. This means someone has entered the house. Mayhul immediately comes down from the rooftop, and Alex is seen there. Mr. Alex, what are you doing here, and how did you get inside the house? Sir, how do you know me? Alex, you are a well-known bodybuilder in this city, and I am a detective who keeps track of everyone. After this, Alex reveals the entire truth to Mayhul, and Detective Mayhul immediately takes out his revolver and drives to Alex's house with him. The door of Alex's house was open from the outside. Sir, it seems like that man has escaped. Mayhul enters the house with his revolver, and there he finds a dead body of a man who had been shot. Sir, this is the same man, but who could have killed him? Mr. Alex, are you hiding something? Did you murder him? Sir, what are you saying? Why would I kill him? And I don't even know him. Mayhul searches the entire house, even checks the bathroom, and finds Alex's room in a mess with scattered belongings. Interesting, very very interesting. It means the murderer must be either a bodybuilder or Alex's competitor. Why did Logical Army Mayhul think that Alex's competitor could be the murderer? Think about it. Look closely at Alex's room. All of Alex's trophies and medals are lying on the floor, and the murderer has torn Alex's bodybuilding certificates, apart from that, he did not cause any harm to anything in the room. This means the murderer was jealous of Alex's success in bodybuilding. After this, Mayhul takes a photo of the dead body and sends it to his informant, a while later, Mayhul's informant informs him that the man was a criminal who used to murder people for money. The one who used to murder others himself got murdered. As you sow, so shall you reap, but I need to find out who killed this man. Mayhul places the dead body in his car and says to Alex, Mr. Alex, come with me, your life might be in danger here. Alex takes some of his belongings and goes with Mayhul. Mayhul first arrives at Dr. Sanjana's laboratory. Mr. Alex, please stay inside the car. I will take the dead body inside the lab. Mayhul starts to take the dead body inside the lab, but the lab door is locked with a logical password. Can you tell which balloon is the odd one out among these four? Think about it. While all four balloons are different colors, the yellow balloon starts with the letter Y, while the others start with the letter B, black, blue, and brown, Mayhul presses the number 3 button and enters the lab. He places the dead body inside the lab and starts talking to Dr. Sanjana when suddenly he hears the sound of gunfire. Mayhul immediately runs outside the lab. Outside the lab, two people were firing at Mayhul's car from a motorcycle. Why were these people firing at Mr. Alex? 
Upon seeing Mehul, the two individuals immediately flee from the scene. Mehul's car was bulletproof, so Alex's life is saved. Mehul quickly starts his car and follows the two individuals, Alexis also sitting inside the car. The two individuals were riding the bike at high speed. Mehul also drives his car at full speed. Suddenly, a man sitting behind on the bike starts firing at Mehul's car, but Mehul is not afraid at all and continues to chase them. There was a bottle of water kept in Mehul's car. It's difficult to catch them like this. I'll have to throw the water bottle to hit them so that both of them fall down, and I can catch them. Now Mehul had three options a one. First, Mehul could seat Alex in the driver's seat, and Alex would drive the car while Mehul throws a water bottle from the side window. Second, Mehul could drive the car at full speed and collide with them from behind, but doing so might cause more harm to them. Three. Third, Mehul could ask Alex to throw a water bottle from the car. Logical army, can you tell which solution is sensible? Think about it. The first option will not be chosen at all because by the time Mayhul stops the car and seats Alex in the driver's seat, both of them will be far away. The second option poses a lot of danger because if there is a major accident, both of their lives could be at risk, however, Mayhul needs to catch those people alive. Mayhul chooses the third option and brings his car next to the bike of those two individuals. Alex opens the window and throws the water bottle, but he misses his target, and the person sitting on the back of the bike starts firing at Alex again. Alex raises the window pane. But Mehul accelerates his car and overtakes their bike and come in front of the bike. They try to apply brakes. But their bike collides with Mehul's car, and they both fall down. Mehul and Alex immediately catch them and remove their helmets. Oh sir, this is my friend Vishal. We both do bodybuilding together. Tell me the truth, Vishal. Why do you want to kill Alex? Vishal then explains that he has started hating Alex's success, which is why he wants to kill Alex. Vishal, if you want to get ahead of Alex, work hard, but in your quest to kill Alex, you have also killed that contract killer. After this, Mayhul hands over Vishal and his friends to the police, case solved, Detective Mayhul rocks. One day, Mayhul receives a call from a man named Mr. Thomas. Mr. Thomas tells Mayhul that he had come to the jungle to pick mangoes, but some decoits are following him, and he is very scared. Mr. Thomas, keep running continuously and tell me your location, I'm coming right away. Mr. Thomas tells him that he is near the river in the jungle at the moment and is hiding among the trees. Without delay, Mayhul immediately takes out his gun and sets off towards the jungle in his car. Mayhul drives the car at full speed and reaches the forest. To go inside the jungle he has three ways. The first route goes over a bridge above the river, the second route goes through the mango orchard, and the third route goes through a dirt road. Can you tell which route Mayhul will take among these three? Let me know your answer by commenting. Mayhul will take the route over the bridge by the river because Mr. Thomas had mentioned that he is near the river. Therefore, Mayhul enters the jungle via the bridge and drives along the riverbank. Mayhul searches for Mr. Thomas for quite a distance, but he doesn't find him. Interesting, very very interesting, nobody seems to be here. After that, he parks his car under a tree and takes his revolver, proceeding on foot towards the jungle. Mayhul enters the dense jungle. There are many thick trees here. Mr. Thomas must have mentioned this place because there is a river nearby. As Mayhul goes a little further, he sees three narrow paths. Fresh footprints are also visible here. Can you tell which path Mayhul will take among these three? Think and comment your answer. Look closely, on the first path, there are footprints of only one person, on the second path, there are footprints of many people, and on the third path, there are footprints of animals. It's possible that Mr. Thomas took the first path, and all the decoits took the second one because the footprints are still fresh. Mayhul takes the first path and proceeds further into the jungle. After a short distance, Mayhul sees a body under a tree. This must be Mr. Thomas, but there's blood coming out of his body. However, Mayhul doesn't approach Mr. Thomas's body and immediately climbs upon a tree. Can you tell why Mayhul did this? Comment your answer. Upon careful observation, a lion is hidden in the bushes nearby and its face is visible behind the leaves. Mayhul notices it and climbs up the tree to save himself. 
Mehul keeps flowing silently on the tree for a while. Some time later, taking advantage of the moment, the lion emerges from the bushes and heads towards Mr. Thomas. If I don't do anything, this fierce lion might attack Mr. Thomas. I need to take action. Mehul immediately fires a shot into the air with his revolver. Hearing the gunshot, the lion immediately flees from there. Afterwards, Mehul descends from the tree and approaches Mr. Thomas. He had been shot in the chest and was already dead. It feels like the Dekowitz have killed Mr. Thomas. Mehul thoroughly checks Mr. Thomas's dead body, so he found some documents and a phone that he used to work in a private company, and he had those documents. Interesting, very very interesting. It seems those people didn't come as decoits, but someone else, and they came to murder Mr. Thomas. Why did Mayhul think that those people were not decoits but came to murder Mr. Thomas? Think carefully, and comment your answer. If they were decoits, they wouldn't have left Mr. Thomas's watch and mobile behind, surely, they would have stolen them. It means those people weren't decoits, they came specifically to murder Mr. Thomas. Mayhul carries Mr. Thomas's dead body to his car on foot and immediately leaves the jungle, heading straight to Dr. Sanjana's lab. As always, today also the lab door is locked with a logical password. Which one of these four buttons is the odd one out? Can you tell which button is it? Think and comment your answer. Excluding the first one, which is a cake, the remaining three items are packaged. Mayhul presses first button and enters the lab. Inside the lab, Dr. Sanjana is watching a movie in which a fake lion is also shown. Dr. Sanjana, you're watching a fake lion, but I've just encountered a real one in the jungle. Impressive Mayhul, I've never seen such bravery, but how did blood stain your shirt? Please stop praising me and prepare the post-mortem report for this dead body. Meanwhile, I will go to his company and inquire about it. After that, Mayhul goes to the bathroom and starts removing the blood stains from his clothes. These blood stains won't be easy to remove. Looks like I'll have to get a new dress. Then, Mayhul places Mr. Thomas's dead body in the lab and immediately heads to his company in his car. First, Mayhul goes to the manager there. Manager, I need to ask you something about Mr. Thomas. Oh brother, we don't have that much time and we're not that free. Come back some other time. Mayhul immediately shows his ID card to the manager and says, I don't have time either, manager, Mr. Thomas has been murdered. I'm sorry sir, I didn't recognize you, I'll tell you everything about Mr. Thomas. After that, the manager tells Mayhul everything about Mr. Thomas. It's clear from the manager's words that Mr. Thomas was a very honest man. Mayhul finds no evidence in Mr. Thomas's company. However, Mayhul finds out that Mr. Thomas had three friends too. Mayhul calls all three of Mr. Thomas's friends for questioning. Upon questioning, the first friend says, Sir, I haven't spoken to Mr. Thomas in the past week, so I don't know anything. Sir, I just arrived from Nepal an hour ago. Look at my train ticket. Sir, Mr. Thomas really liked mango juice, and three days ago, we met at the market and had mango juice together. After that, I didn't meet Mr. Thomas. Here's a photo from that day. Listening to all three, Mayhul understands who is lying. Can you tell me who among the three is lying? Comment your answer. The second friend is lying because there are no trains from India to Nepal. So how did he get the ticket? It's a fake ticket. Mayhul catches him and upon further interrogation, he reveals that two days ago, two men were beating another man badly, but Mr. Thomas saved him and informed the police. The police arrived and arrested the two attackers. However, the two attackers were shouting loudly and threatening to kill Mr. Thomas. We will kill you. We will kill you. I was very scared, so I lied to you, sir. Interesting, very interesting. This means those two attackers must be involved in Mr. Thomas's murder. I'll have to interrogate those two in jail. Mayhul immediately reaches the jail in his car. Inside the jail, Mayhul sees three policemen. Can you tell me which policeman Mayhul will approach among the three? Observe carefully. The first policeman is a sub-inspector because he has two stars, and the second policeman is an inspector because he has three stars. And, there are never inspectors or sub-inspectors inside the jail, meaning these individuals must have come to the jail for some investigation. Mayhul will approach the third policeman, the jailer. Mayhul questions the jailer about the two decoits, the jailer informs him that both of them were released on bail early this morning. 
who arranged for their bail. Give me the name and address. The jailer provides Mayhul with the name and address of the person. Mayhul immediately reaches the address of that man by his car. This man's house is very big. He must be a millionaire. Mayhul goes inside and questions the man about the two decoits. Then, the man explains that both men work for him, so he arranged for their bail. After being released from jail, both of them murdered a man in the jungle this morning. Take me to them. The man calls both decoits. They both come out of the house, but Mayhul's car was parked outside. They get suspicious and immediately start fleeing on their bike. Mayhul also follows them in his car. The two decoits were riding their bike at full speed on highway. Do you have any ideas by which Mayhul can catch them quickly? Look closely, there is a barrier on the highway, and a traffic policeman is standing there. If that barrier falls down, the bikers will have to stop. Mayhul immediately calls the traffic police to lower the barrier, and due to the high speed, the decoits collide with the barrier, and their bike falls down. Mayhul and the traffic police officer catches them. Case solved. Detective Mayhul rocks.